Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So you guys, we have to clean our house. It's a wreck. And we've just been outside doing the porch. I'm hot and sweating in Jesus name. However, we got things to do. So I'm not going to show you my bathroom, but just know that the bathroom must be cleaned. Maybe I'll give you just a little peek. See, right? So we've got the, everything is sprayed down. The shower sprayed down. Uh, the toilet sprayed down. The sinks are sprayed down. And I'm just going to come through and clean in here. Then if I take you back out to my bedroom, um, I didn't make the bed today. So the bed needs to be done. I've got stuff on the floor for another video. That's for a video. And then I have some review stuff in that chair, my Bible. So my desk, just a few little things in here that need to be cleaned. But the thing that bothers my whole spirit the most is this. And I don't like showing my house dirty. So my table has become a catch-all. Um, we've got some food stuffs we need to clean out here and a little bit of dishes. Uh, we've got dishes on the uh, stove, um, some stuff here that needs to be dealt with. And then here, um, blankets, somebody was laying down. We've got uh, paper plates and water bottles and laundry because our dryer was broken. And so um, we had to hang the clothes and they still weren't dry after two days. So once the dryer got installed, we dried everything and I folded, but the clothes have not been put out. So, and of course, some towels and stuff there. So this is what the house looks like. And of course, to me, this is like 100% absolutely embarrassing. Um, to some people, I know they're like, Shakima, really? Oh yeah, and Jackson was doing homeschool. So um, I'm going to, I'm gonna start in my bathroom. I'll help you in a minute, brother. And um, then work my way into my bedroom. Alana and Jack are gonna start in the living room and the kitchen. And then we're gonna meet somewhere in the middle. Probably start in the living room and then we'll meet in the kitchen or meet in the middle some kind of way. Uh, Jackson's mole skin got wet on his cast so he's having to put some more on there so he doesn't uh, scratch up his, his other fingers that are not casted. Um, he has a, a, an appointment at uh, 3.30 on Tuesday, so hopefully he will either get his, that cast off or they'll give him another one. They'll x-ray it and see how the finger's doing. Um, but anywho, we're gonna get started because I can't even function in a space like this. Um, so we're gonna get started.
shirts? Huh? Well, look, they're off the counter. So let's start getting these dishes. This got me to eat. Are you eating any of these things? This rice meal. So I'm at a place called the Fairy Circle in Wilmington, and they are having a clearance sale. Periodically, from time to time, they'll do these. And I'm gonna have to go. Everything on their clearance is um, a dollar. So of course, uh, just did a Goodwill thrift haul. Oh, those are for tiny people because I need it my best slide because nobody's that size. And um, I picked Sister up from work and she needed to run another errand. So I was like, well, let me just uh, go around here and see what I can find. And um, fortunately for me, they had some baskets out here. I'm trying to fix my shoe. I tried on a pair of shoes. And um, they just have uh, a massive amount of clearance and everything on the clearance rack is a dollar since they're trying to get rid of some stuff. I've done these before, um, but I haven't been out here in a while uh, just because I've been trying to um, not spend, you know, when you're on a budget, but when they have items for a dollar, can come up with a few dollars from somewhere so you're like okay lord let me this is for tiny little people okay i'm not sure how they have the, the size because some of this looks like it's for really small people and i'm not small um but it's a consignment shop oh that's cute but it's a medium I don't know if there's some mediums that look like it might be small and it's a um, button it's like a uh, onesie thing don't think that's gonna work for my life so i'm gonna move around so anywho i thought you guys might want to see what we were out here doing and then we'll show you uh, anything that we pop i mean for a dollar that's a medium too okay that's not gonna work for shakima okay Anyway, and they have nice, because it is a consignment shop, they have some more of the name brand things. But like I said, some of these where I am right now, these are tiny sizes, so I'm actually going to skip around and go see if I can't find a different size. Sister's out here looking as well. See if she can find, they have men's, they have women's. I actually found a man's, uh, cap shirt because I saw um these smalls okay this gotta be moving in a, in a direction I can't move anything small let me live okay sister do you see sizes do you see specific sizes lovely you wanna put your stuff in there uh, these are maybe okay well if you want it we can do do you see sizes like I'm looking for mom's size 
much. I'll keep looking. Yeah. Oh, let me look. Oh, that's a white skirt. What size is that from the law? And oh, it's a size 10. Oh, no ma'am. No ma'am. That could probably fit on. Oh, that maybe fit something, but I'd be squeezed. And I don't prefer squeezing. That's a medium. Okay, I'm going to look and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Blood on my bones oh, No matter what they say Or do against me I can say there's blood on my bones yep. Blood on my bones As Paul used to say Forgetting what's behind me Cause there is blood on my bones There's blood on my bones No matter what they bring against me All the lies and accusations I can say there's blood on my bones So here's the thing, right? The uh, God is here to do the termite bond. With that being said, um, we have to have access to one to one of the main walls in the garage, and you know the garage is like just a hot mess express. So the kids and I are out. He's going to start outside, which is helpful. The kids and I are inside, and we're going to do some stuff in here to get this one wall here cleaned off just at least around the bottom so he can work and, and drill whatever holes he has to drill in there. It's going to give us an opportunity to really clean some stuff out as well because, you know, all of that's my sister's stuff. One more month, she'll be in her house and then all her stuff will be gone. Um, but the kids and I just have some things that we got to get done. So we're going to live our best life um, and try. We're going to take some stuff out to Goodwill. Um, sometimes the garage just becomes a major dumping place and that just cannot do, be. I send the kids out here to, to do stuff and, you know, they don't always do the things. So, anywho, we're going to get started, do a few things. We thought you guys might want to come along while we do all the things.
one's gonna go on your neck. There we go. Is that too tight? No. Or is it okay? It's fine. All right. So I want you to turn more towards this wall for me. Yep. Do you sad though? No. Do you know? Or don't you remember what colors they have? in the world. Were you etching up? Uh, yes, <laughs> I need to wash my hands. I don't know that you need to wash your hand, bud. Wipe it one down with some rubbing alcohol. Huh? We can't let you wash it yet. One of these days. Yeah, one of these days. <laughs> Very soon, though, because it's probably nasty. They probably give you one of them germ tests and it'll be too much. <laughs> Alright everybody, so we are back from Taekwondo and prayer. Um, but before that we went to the orthopedics, I think is what it's called. But whatever it was, um we just got an X an an X ray on how the bone looked and it was healing in certain places. But they wanted to be extra sure, so I got um this red cast and just it wasn't what I was hoping for, but at least it doesn't really hurt at all much. So, that's the plus. Other than that, we didn't really do much. Um, they just recasted it and gave us a few instructions. And other than that, besides, I don't think there was much interesting worth talking about, except when they saw off your cast, because it's a hard one, so they can't peel it off. That one was very interesting. But we went to Taekwondo and to prayer, so that's pretty much all that happened with the hand. Alrighty, you guys. So I'm making a cream sauce. Um, the kids and I have officially gone back to keto. Um, we're going to just give that our best effort for the next 90 days, which should be by the first of the year. I have some health goals I'm trying to reach, and so does Alana. So we're just gonna stop playing with our little, playing little games here and get our life back together. Um, so I'm just doing a, a white cream sauce. We have some hamburger meat that she browned, and then we're gonna just do some greens, and that's gonna be dinner for tonight. It is already nine o'clock. It's because I'm late. Get, we're late getting home from prayer, taekwondo, the gym, prayer on Tuesday night. So I'm just getting this cream sauce done. It's almost done. I'm just melting some laughing cow cheese. This is just heavy cream. You can use coconut milk. Um, I had a little bit of coconut milk. I'm going to put, um, I used some vegan butter. I'm going to put a little bit of sour cream and um, some of that raw uh, Parmesan cheese in there. Okay, you guys. So I went to Goodwill. I'm working on a fall lookbook. I have one installment coming out. You've probably already seen it before you see this video. And um, so I'm still looking for a couple more pieces. Today's focus were things I could wear to work. Um, I love dresses. I'm a dress girl, even though I've been wearing more pants lately. Um, but this is a black. It is um, Karen Kane, size large. It has this a ruffling around the top, which I really do like. Long sleeve. Of course, I would already 
push those up and this probably is going to stop about knee length and um i was just thinking for the office definitely could wear that um there was a lady that used to be in my my immediate supervisor that, that his office is right next to mine she used to be in that um position before she retired and she wore the most beautiful clothes she just came dressed every day such appropriateness in her dress and every time i saw her i just really appreciated the effort that she um put into her her items um this dress has never been worn totally 100 percent never been worn so i'm gonna style that i've got some um leopard print um booties that i think will go perfect with that the next thing i got is more on the casual side and I just got to get a pair of white Ked like tennis shoes, right? So it's no sleeve, it's gray, V neck. It does have a drawstring in the middle, and it actually has that gathered side with the little side split on both sides. So I thought that would be a, a great casual. Um, I could even wear that to church, and if I were going to go out on a date. Um, like on a Saturday afternoon date, it wouldn't be an evening unless I put a sweater with it and some heels. But I plan to wear this with um, a kid-like shoe. And um, this one doesn't appear to be worn either, but maybe it has been. It's been well maintained, though. No pills or anything like that. This next one I got, it's a size 16, but it looks smaller to me so i wanted to make sure that um i wasn't squeezed and sometimes when you wear this fabric it does hug and i don't want to um you know my stomach is still an area that i'm working on so it has this front button zips in the back this is three quarter length sleeves and i just love that color and that's again another dress that i could wear when i'm at the office um I'm not always at the office. Um, most days I'm at my schools. And uh, usually I have a half a day at my office once a week. And um, so I like to dress pretty nice when I go to my, I like to dress nice any day, but especially when I go to my office. And then um, as conferences coming up, S3 conferences coming up, I want to make sure that I have nice pieces for the, the days that I'm speaking, I don't speak many days. I do the open and closing session, but I don't speak. Usually on the main day, I actually don't speak at all. Um, I try to save that for my guest speakers. So uh, this is a, it's like a, a grayish lavender. It's a large and it has this ruching in the front no sleeves. Now, the reason I got this is because of that black dress that I had previously purchased. And I thought it was going to be able to be shortened, but the girl that I asked, she couldn't do it. And then trying to do it myself, it would just be too much. So what I'm deciding to do was to wear something underneath. So this is a dress that would go underneath that dress even though that one is see-through, the only thing you would see would be this dress. So I'm going to give that a try to see if it'll work. I don't know if it will work or won't work. The only thing I know is this dress costs $4.89. And it looks, again, like one of those that has just never been worn. Somebody cleaned out. They bought this stuff, cleaned out their closet, and did not wear any of it. Now, the last piece that I got which I was really excited about right okay so this is a, it was in the dress aisle this is a New York and company size extra large and I want it to be over large this one I did I did want to be larger so it does have that collar which I love and it's buttoned down with this detailing in the front that buttons all the way down so with a pair of leggings and then I have several pairs of booties, this would be an amazing evening wear. It does have these uh, ruffle sleeves, which I do love, right? The only thing is it does have a stain, right? So I'm going to do my best to get that out. 
if I can't get it out, then I'm just going to leave the dress open at the top. I'd wear a cami or definitely a slip, something. Wear a cami and just keep that button over so you won't ever be able to tell that that stain is there. But I'm going to try some bleach or some Tide to Go to see if I can get that little tiny stain right there out. It, was, it wasn't bad enough for me to leave it in the store. And again, that dress was only $4.89. It is so crisp and white, and I just love it. So I came out of there with five dresses for $25. I wouldn't have been able to buy one of those dresses for $25. Then, I never, ever, ever leave Goodwill without trying shoes looking for shoes. I have a story about shoes. So these are some Ann Klein's. These are baby pink kitten heels. And I know everybody's not a kitten heel person, but I'm here for it because sometimes I stand for long periods of time and the kitten heels work for that purpose. So those are pink and they have like a faux suede on the side. And then they have like this um, patent leather detail in the front. Jeans, a dress, anything that, that could pair with that. Then I got, these were the last pairs I found. These are cute. These are a Banana Republic. Sorry, y'all. I, I went to the gym and my gym clothes I just threw in this bag. These are Banana Republic. They are ankle straps, which are my favorite, but they're also peep toes. They're a faux suede, and my toes don't come all the way to the edge, which I like, because I don't always like peep toes, but they're like a faux gray suede with a nice chunky heel. These have been worn, but they've not been worn down. So I love a nice chunky heel, specifically because I'm still what I would call larger. And I don't do those skinny, skinny heels because I'd be done step wrong and the next thing I know I'd be done had a problem. Then I got these. These are Forever 21 and they are the most comfortable, right? They're like a burgundy or a deep wine. They are a skinnier heel. Then I'm, you know, I can wear that one, but I saw some even skinnier. I was like, oh no. It's that faux suede again, and they fit very comfortably. All of those that I tried on were comfortable. Then the last thing I got were a pair of brown boots. Now, the reason I got these, I got some black riders, um, and I wanted a pair of brown ones. Uh, these are more dressy. They do have heels. This is what they look like. I just have to clean them up a little bit. And they're a size eight, so they're a little snug. So what I'm gonna do is just try to get like some um, thin, thin, ultra thin socks to wear inside of those. But I wanted a nice heeled boot. That was, I had bought a pair from Goodwill and they, um, the heels broke off, they came off. So that, that didn't last but a season. And then again, boots are only $3.99, so Shoes are only, no, boots are $4.99. Shoes are $3.99. So, I mean, five bucks. And this this shoe has, it might have been worn a couple times. Maybe, maybe. I mean, I find the best things at my Goodwill. All righty, you guys. So, that's going to be it for this vlog. We're going to call it a vlog here. Um, I've got some reading I have to do. I've got some, um... I need to take this polish off. Um, I've got some stuff that I've got to do. I'm going to throw all those things back into the bag until tomorrow. I don't have any time to deal with them tonight. Um, we have been out all day and it's after nine and I still have some reading. I, that's almost 10. I've got some reading that I have to get done tonight that I did not get done um, earlier. And so I just need to do that now. But I'll I'll get all those things taken care of tomorrow for sure. Uh, I get everything tried on and squared away. 
but for the moment um it'll be it'll be fine in the bag i do have some other oh you can't see that i've got some other clothes over there they are not goodwill they are um clothes that came from Nadine West that Alana had in her closet that she will not wear. So um, I'll wear them with no problem. Won't bother me at all. I love clothing. So um, yeah, I'm here for it. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, I'm going to get my reading done. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. We are so excited to have you. Very blessed and honored to have you in our lives all of you from the person who never comments to the person who comments every video to the person who shares and likes and all the things we are just very blessed to have you and we appreciate you all so very much so anywho thank you all so much for stopping by if you liked the video thumb it up don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time bye now